Have you ever had moments in your life where you feel lost, you feel disconnected, you feel lonely, you feel like an imposter, especially in your career as you're growing it, and then someone comes along and sees the light in you that you don't even see in yourself, and that's just enough motivation and inspiration just to keep you going, to know you're in the right place so you can continue on your path. Well, in this video, I'm going to share a story with you about just that. So if you're feeling a bit down in the dumps, you're feeling disconnected to the work you're doing, then this video may just help you. Hi, I'm Nat and I'm an impact filmmaker. I help conscious brands, organizations and individuals to share their stories in meaningful ways through film and photography. And in this channel, I share the journey of building my filmmaking career and try to show the impact that powerful storytelling can have in making a difference in the world and on the individual. So there's this lens called the Helios 422. It is a Russian lens and it is a vintage lens that's pretty sorted after in the film and creative world because it has this really unique quality that gives it that really cinematic look to it. I've been eyeing out this lens for a while and because I don't have the luxury financially to buy it, I haven't been able to purchase it yet. One day there was a filmmakers community swap meet for people or filmmakers in the Bali community to come and meet each other and also to sell some secondhand gear that they don't need anymore. And I really wanted to go, but I was really dreading going because I was going through a phase in my life where I just felt like I wasn't good enough or I felt a bit like an imposter, you know, getting into the film industry. And I just felt like I didn't belong in this community. It, it sounds ridiculous, I know, because um, I actually have been working uh, in film for the last four years. I even have a short film in uh, a film festival, but still, you know, this voice in my head will say these things to me. And sometimes when you're not feeling grounded, you start to believe it but I force myself because if I went there I would prove myself wrong that these are just stories in my head so I decided to go I happened to spot the Helios lens uh, at one of the the stalls and I got talking to the owner we started chatting about um, the lens of course I asked him how much it was and then we started talking swapping stories about who we are and our lives I shared a bit more about the social impact and the NGO work that I did through filmmaking um, and then when it was time to leave, I said to him, hey, give me your Instagram um, because one day when I can afford the lens, I'm going to come back to you and see if it's still available. And he just turned around and looked at me and said, Nat, I'm just going to give you this lens because I can tell you are going to do something really wonderful with it. And I was kind of in shock, you know, obviously I was super thank thankful and grateful. He not only gave me a gift, a physical gift of the lens, but he gave me a gift of seeing me, a gift of seeing myself where I couldn't even see the light inside of me. And I immediately felt like, okay, I'm not an imposter. You know, I'm meant to be where I am right now. And I just need to keep going because this is what I'm meant to do. I am definitely on the right path, no matter what the voice is telling me these are just stories and I should just focus on seeing my own light and going towards it and just keep going on this path to fulfill the mission that I started to do and that is to make uh, a difference in the world through telling stories and through filmmaking and photography. So if you're feeling a bit low about yourself, feeling a bit disconnected and feeling a bit like an imposter in any career, not just in filmmaking, I hope that this video, this story reached you and shifted you out of that thinking so you can continue doing the work that you do and know that you are worthy. You're meant to be exactly where you are right now. And may you see the light in yourself like those around you who see this beautiful light in you as well.